If you're into any form of commentary YouTube, and I'm talking about like OG commentary YouTube, you would know about Trum Trum and 5 Minutes Craft. Now I'm gonna specifically be talking about 5 Minutes Craft because how did I end up on their TikTok page? And <laughs> that was one of the worst decisions I've ever made. So in this fun little video, we won't be talking about heavy topics today. Is that the cat? But y'all, my eyes has been cursed to see what 5 Minutes Craft is posting on their TikTok. If y'all thought the YouTube videos was bad, y'all should take a look at the TikTok. Like the TikTok is even worse and it's almost like they took a different direction. Like first it moved from haha silly stupid crafts that no one's gonna use to oh my gosh. Is this even a crafts channel anymore? You're trying to turn into, you know, something with the O and F. But anyways, let's take a look at these videos. If I had to see it, y'all gonna have to see it too. Nah, we're not gonna skip past that. Why are you handling the pig woman like that? Where is the craft? Where is the craft? This is called Five Minutes Craft for a reason. There are kids on this app. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> now look, they're giving us this craft like they didn't just go past that thing with the paint roller. Like, you didn't just mishandle that paint roller in front of us. I'm not even gonna read the comments, y'all, because I'm sure I'm, I would get in trouble for this video if I read the comments. But it's clear that they're doing this for clickbait. At some point, it's like, are you actually just doing this for clickbait? Or are you... <laughs> are y'all catering to a certain group of people? And by the way, for the screw, what is that thing called? Not a screwdriver. The wrench. Why don't you just get a smaller wrench? Like, come on, let's be for real. No one's gonna think of, oh, let me go get two quarters because Five Minutes Craft told me to put two quarters in between the wrench and the actual screw light. Just get a smaller wrench. But let me not discredit Five Minutes Craft. They delivered on the craft side of things. But the paint roller section was absolutely unnecessary. I would have gone my whole life perfectly fine without seeing Five Minutes Craft mishandle the paint roller. Guys, why am I seeing that they edited the jacket? Like, look at the part where the girl sat on. They actually edited the jacket. Why is this paint roller being handled that way? Immediately off the bat, we're back to this pink paint roller. Hold on, did they film this all in one day? Cause it's the same color too. And why is it? Let me just watch the video. One thing we gotta be is for real y'all. Whatever happened to the good old brush and paint? Why didn't we just use the paint roller? Are they running out of ideas? Actually, scratch that, they never had ideas to begin with. But it's all pointing to the fact that they're just resorting to fetish content for views because only a certain demographic of people will be like, hmm, let me click on that and see what it's saying. Whole time I fell for it. Not that I wanted to see that or anything. But you know, they could have always been doing this on YouTube, but I'm not gonna sit down and watch one hour or five minutes craft. Who do I I'm quite shocked to see them posting fetish content on TikTok because like actually what is the goal? Well the goal is probably to have people like me making videos about this which goal accomplished What was the first one supposed to be? We're not gonna skip past like Shane just do that. Random gloves as bra. Can somebody help me figure out the plot? And then she's gonna go ahead and put on this thing like she did not just do that. I get it, you're just doing it for doing it for a check. Oh my gosh, the melatonin's kicking in. Wait guys, in the end she actually ate. I'm surprised, I wasn't expecting to like it. I thought it was gonna be something stupid, but she actually made that look good. Did she have on jeans? And then she switched into shorts. I thought I was going crazy. I was like, wait, I swear she was wearing something else. That's not even the same bra, y'all. She's literally wearing a tube top in the second one. Did they film this on two separate days? Who am I to judge? It actually looks good. The dress actually looks good. It's, it's, it's put together. to the sink my bad y'all my caribbean ways are jumping i meant faucet why did you just do that to the faucet what's wrong with the regular running water anyways let's move on please leave the hot dog alone why are you wasting food for this you know what i could have do with that hot dog i can't say that out loud y'all and take that out of context is everything okay in the five minutes craft department are the creative directors running out of ideas salt based please no don't let this be so do not let this be so i can already see where this is going <laughs> Thank you. 
I might actually have to blow this part out. I am. I'm actually in pure shock. Five minutes craft have resorted to fetish content. It is so funny. Like, it's actually one of the most funniest random things I expected to find on the internet. But here we are. If you're a kid, click off this video. You're not even supposed to be watching this because this isn't even made for kids. I know a bunch of kids probably watch five minutes craft. And that's also a creepy thing. Their channel is targeted towards kids who probably like, oh my gosh, I want to try this cool craft. Imagine you as a parent opening up your kid's TikTok and their five minutes craft is posting this why is the soap around the faucet why is the soap around the faucet and they try to play it off like oh no it's actually not for that reason it's for this reason an actual useful reason that everyone can use you see where it's so deceiving y'all think y'all so slick what's I think I'm done. Okay, it's official. Five minutes craft is losing the plot. And I think I might have lost the plot with them. Cause what did we all just witness together as a collective? What a waste of condoms. Let's get that off the board. What a waste of condoms. But what's the reason? What is the shoe doing in there? Why are you trying to give TSA a damn stroke? Why are you trying to stress the people at the airport out? Cause from what I'm seeing, this is supposed to be an airport type scene. And they had the nerve to caption. Are you ready for your next trip? Are you ready for your trip to jail? Cause you deserve some jail time for that one. Whoever run in the five minutes craft account <laughs> let me stop getting on the case i'm sorry five minutes crap i'm just joking everything here is for entertainment purposes and this is not even a serious video i'm just talking welcome to the japanese channel because that's what i do all the time i just be running my mouth i'm actually kind of having fun with this one <laughs> They back with this damn condom, y'all. First she put on the backpack wrong and a random dude come to scope her up. And now they back with the... What? What? Can you imagine going to the grocery store or wherever you're going to get your condoms and find out that the last set was used in a five minutes craft video to do this foolishness? <laughs> the type of air I would punch. What? Wait, what is that for? Hold on, was that a- Were they covering up a crime? Did they just give a tip to cover up a crime? What did the words at the bottom say? This activity is performed by actors and a controlled and safe environment has been made for entertainment purposes. Oh, alginate. I'm sorry, what this- Guys, I swear I'm not dumb. It's just a lot of words have fallen out of my vocabulary as I got older because I just stopped using them. So please, allow me to Google and find out what this word means. Don't make fun of me. We've all been there. Don't sit down and act like you know everything. Because I know a lot of y'all be pre pretending like y'all know everything. At least I admit that I don't mean knowing everything. Oh, it's a polymer. I learned that in chemistry. Okay, I'm actually still very confused. Why did they put a knife in there? I shouldn't hurt my head over a five minutes craft TikTok. Not even a video, a TikTok. Moving on. I don't want to find out what they're doing. If y'all know what this one is supposed to mean, comment down below. Because I'm actually, I'm actually lost. Another weird thing that they do is like they post these random riddles and say, like for example, this one says there are three Three possible ways for a prisoner to escape. The first exit has aggressive dogs. The second has a bomb with five minute timer already on. The third has a guard with a weapon. Where should he go? Tell us in the comments. And when y'all go to comments, guess what? The comments are off. <laughs> Is the sense sensing? No. But do I see the vision? Also no. Do I know what they're doing? Absolutely not. Who's ever run this TikTok account? Is everything okay? Blink twice if you need help. coming up to you and being like hey i can customize your phone case for you they turn around and do this you might as well finish break the phone you might as well finish break the phone you done spray paint on it you done use a whole screw gun on it just take the phone just take the phone finish throw it away finish with it i wonder how much time and money actually going to making these crafts because it's actually quite crazy how far they'd go to deliver us almost time wasting crafts why did she just put aloe vera gel in her undies what is the use for i never heard no i never heard of no one putting aloe vera gel in their underwear maybe some people do i'm not judging nobody y'all do y'all thing but are they just gonna do that and not say what it's for at least give me some context I know there might be no context to it, but at least give me some context. That's the most you can do. You can give me some closure five minutes, Craft. Uh-uh, I 
would not be able to do that if y'all know anything about aloe vera gel is that it stinks like it has this powerful smell and it's also very bitter to taste how would i know <laughs> i grew up from the caribbean i was forced to swallow aloe vera gel before you know caribbean parents and their health remedies which always works for some reason but never again would i do that to myself actually at this age i probably would suck it up and do it but as a kid when i tell y'all that gave me trauma unnecessary trauma and I'm not talking about seared trauma. I'm talking about when I think back to it, I can literally taste and smell the aloe vera gel. Why she put her fingers in? Hold on. Why are you a so why are they mishandling these things? Why are you doing that to the aloe vera gel? Can we go one second? Please, just one second. Without you doing these things to these plants or these lifeless objects? Come on, this is justice for the aloe vera gel. He did not deserve that. He did not deserve that. Nah, let's be for real. Y'all give that pregnant lady back her money. First of all, why did she dip her stomach in the bowl like that when you know you could have just scoop it up and put it on the center of her stomach? You know, do a perfect circle? And why did you just waste her time like that? She could have been laying down and relaxing. She's a pregnant lady. She's a pregnant lady. I know she did. I know she was like, what did I sign myself up for? Why am I here? But she's probably still collecting a check. Anyways, do what you gotta do, girl. You know, five minutes crafts like to do things backwards and do things in an interesting, funny way just to have people like us talking. And it's gonna work every time, man. Hey, I'm not mad at it. It's painfully obvious that five minutes craft is like clearly doing fetish content. And if you don't know what fetish content is, it's... Maybe you're too young. I'm sorry, I'm not judging y'all. If you generally don't know what it is, it's like hidden things in videos that people do that's clearly inappropriate, right? They do it to either get the reaction of someone else or to cater to a certain audience who have like certain fetishes. And a lot of these things have been, it's not even hidden no more. It's like out in our face. And it's kind of interesting to see that happening to 5 Minutes Craft because I feel like 5 Minutes Craft is kind of like a kid's targeted channel. Like they, their target audience is kids. Kids are going to like these silly crafts. Kids are going to be the ones who most likely try them. So why are you turning to fetish content? It's strange. It's like a, a weird 180. But as usual, 5 Minutes Craft is going to stay 5 minuting. Less crafting, more 5 minutes. 5 minutes of our time has probably been wasted on these videos alone. Okay, see, you're ranting. But anyways, this video was made for like entertainment purposes. I really, just a funny and lighthearted video to end your week off with, because I'm assuming this will be next week or middle of the week. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. I hope we laughed just as much as I did because this one actually took me out, even though the melatonin is knocking me out slowly. I enjoyed making this. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I hope to see you guys in the other one. I love you. Actually, I really don't love you. I don't know who you are. I never met any one of you people, but I love your support and I love how you guys think. And I love the fact that you guys are able to subscribe to me and meet at some middle ground. Even though we don't agree on everything, I'm happy we're able to meet at a middle ground. And yeah, I'm. Thank you. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways. Um.